coming right there. <laughs> All right, hey guys, with dark clouds on the horizon, you gotta do, you know, you know the deal, shelter, uh, water, food, everything else, right? Well, a lot of people rely on MREs. Their shelf lives are terrible, they're heavy, and they, most of them taste like ass. So Nutrient Survival just came out with their NRE, Nutrition Ready to Eat, and because it's freeze-dried food, Right, and literally guys, so you still get the 15 year shelf life, but for me, if I'm having to carry everything on my back, these things don't weigh anything at all. 40 essential nutrients, this is an entire day's worth of food in one package. Right, and they've got a bunch of different ones. This happens to be the Alpha one, all right? Alpha through Foxtrot on the back. Um, but when you tear this puppy open, I've, I've just ventilated one right here, You've got uh, your peanut butter uh, bar that you literally can stick in your pocket while you're moving. But when you stop to pull water out of the river, you know, uh, even if you're using a hand pump, it's always good to boil that water, right? You know, we want to make sure it, it's clean. So you boil that water, you're boiling water anyways. What I did was I took the Homestyle Scramble, which is like my favorite, uh, favorite meal by Nutrient Survival. I cut off the bottom of the bag, that's my bowl and pour just a little bit of water in here. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, that is good stuff right there. Now, while you're waiting for it to reconstitute, it also comes with one of your things of vitamin coffee and it comes with a creamy chocolate shake. Here's a little, uh, a little cheat for you. I take one third of the chocolate shake, I put it in my vitamin coffee and guys, that is a perfect uh, mocha cappuccino right there. Mm. You guys know how I love my coffee. Now, what that leaves you to get you through the, the rest of the day, maple almond uh, grain crunch. This is good with milk. Obviously, I don't have milk out here, but guys, even just pouring water over, I was surprised at how good that stuff is right there. And then one of my all-time favorites, who doesn't like triple cheese and mac, I mean macaroni and cheese, Who's, what's not to like there? Guys, an entire day's worth of chow, it's good stuff. Nutrient Survival, use code TR10, is gonna save you 10% off your whole order. And uh, just, I'm, I'm excited about these new NREs. I can toss them in the back of my vehicle, but so can you, go check it out. Hey guys, welcome to Tactical Rifleman. Uh, we're gonna talk about the 8.6 Blackout. And so I'm wandering through SHOT Show back in January and uh, a friend of mine, Ron, comes up to me. He's like, hey man, you've seen the 8.6, but I mean 6.8 we've been shooting. He's like, no man, I'm not dyslexic. 8.6 blackout. I'm like, yeah, okay, blackout. 300 blackout, 8.6 blackout. Um, the 458 SOCOM, there's all, there's all kinds of round, big, fat, ugly ones. 500 Beowulf, uh, nobody uses them. He's like, no dude, here's the deal. U.S. SOCOM's actually seriously looking at this thing, the 8.6 blackout, and uh, it's got a one in three twist barrel. And I'm like, hold on a second, one in three twist barrel. And uh, he said, yeah, it's right over here. So I'm, I'm ready to call bull because you understand you have a, like a one in seven twist or a one in 11 on an ARs. I have shot a 308 sniper rifle with a short barrel that had a one in eight twist, but that was almost too fast of a twist for that bullet that you're just not gonna do it. So he brings me over there and um, I get to meet the president of Gorilla Ammo. Great guy, super nice guy. We start talking about it and he's like, yeah, I've got a one in three twist. I've also got a one in one twist. And, and I'm like, you, you, you I'm, I'm, again, I'm, I'm calling bull uh, He starts telling me about it and I get, he gets done and I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm not saying I want one, but I'm saying I need you to lend me one because I'm gonna call bull but I'm gonna do it on film, all right? So um, he's like, Roger that. He's like, I want you. I want to win you over with this. So as we start talking, I start doing my homework here and um, it turns out the, the 8.6 Blackout was originally developed by Kevin Brittenham um, from Q. If you guys aren't familiar with Q, uh, basically he's one of those 100 pound heads uh, in the, the, uh, the firearm industry. Uh, and where you have the 300 Blackout is like the, 
the uh, optimized subsonic round for an AR-15, the 8.6 Blackout is the optimized subsonic round for an AR-10. Basically, what he's done is he's taken the 338 Lapua. This is one of my 338 Lapua uh, sniper rifle rounds, right? He's taken this projectile and he's put it into a necked up 6.5 Creedmoor casing, uh, very similar to a 308 casing, so that it will actually fit inside of any AR-10 out there. There are AR-10s chambered in uh, 6.8 blackout. To make that bullet stable, you've got to spin it faster. If, if you don't understand how stability is done from putting that uh, spin on the on the bullet. Well, think of it as uh, Tom Brady throwing that football. He he throws that spiral on it, and that's what stabilizes that uh, stabilizes that projectile. So he's spinning this thing to spin it faster than like a one in seven or one in eight twist barrel to make it spin faster. You've got to uh, you've got to change shorten that rifling. And so when I say a one in three, one in three twist, that means for every three inches of barrel, you get one full 360 spin. Now, look how long that projectile is. That puppy is uh, almost an inch and a half long. So in the time it takes it to move twice its length, it's already made one 360 spin. And, and again, I, I, I I want to call bullshit on it, but I've seen the write-ups and not only does it make it stable, one of the added benefits of it is when it finally hits, right, because you've got your external ballistics that flying through the air, it makes it stable uh, ex for your external ballistics, but your terminal ballistics, this thing, because it's spinning so fast, it just gives you very devastating terminal performance. Okay, um, again, We'll see. So um, put your money where your mouth is. So I asked him to send me a, uh, a rifle here. This one has a one in three twist. He says he has a one in one twist. I, I, I want you to understand that for every inch, I'm like, you know, I'm not going to push it. I, I'm going to have you do it with a one in three twist. We have one in three twists now. Um, so you guys don't got to figure out the math. I actually did it for you. Supersonic round projectiles. That's these over here. This projectile traveling supersonic, just over the speed of sound, uh, it is making half a million revolutions per minute. Half a million. That puppy is spinning, and I mean it's spinning fast. All right, okay. Over half a million, 500,000 revolutions per minute. That's insane. That's insane. All right, so even the subsonic round, right, uh, which is what I'm interested in, you know, um, hogs, things like that. Uh, the subsonic round is still in a one in three twist barrel. It's still over 250,000 revolutions per minute. Uh, that's just crazy. Um, I want to try it out. I do. I want to try it out. So I started asking him about the barrel because basically what I've been taught uh, normal barrels, I mentioned one in seven twist, one in 10 twist even. The faster the twist, you're getting that faster, more, better stability for subsonic rounds. I, gra I grasp that. But you understand, if you make it too fast, in other words, the lines aren't going like this, they're actually going like this, those lines be get, become almost horizontal or almost perpendicular to the bullet and it basically works like a cheese grater and just starts ripping copper off the sides of it. And what ends up happening is now the bullet leaves the end of the barrel and it just explodes. You go from, you understand there has to be that balance of stability to where you're actually doing too much damage to it and uh, you just start tearing the bullet up and now you don't have any accuracy at all. So uh, what they ended up doing is going to just pure solid copper projectiles, okay? Uh, because like I was saying, uh, their lead core bullets, it, it was ripping the jackets off of them and uh, they, they were blowing up. So they run solid copper projectiles 
Now understand the faster the twist rate, the shorter barrel that you can use, but also uh, that affects your barrel life. It also shortens your barrel life. So I, I asked them, I was like, well, what's your barrel life? You know, you, you start just going from like a six, uh, a six five creed more with like a, well, for easy math, we'll say a 3000 round, round count going to a six millimeter Creedmoor, even in the same barrel, but it's a longer projectile, you got more drag, you're down to like a thousand rounds uh, for barrel life. The faster, uh, the faster this twist, the more it's dragging, the, it's, you're gonna have shorter barrel life. And I'm like, what's your barrel life? And he goes, who cares? He's like, I don't know. And I'm like, I like the way you think. That's how me and everything, we just, as long as it works, it works again. I want to see it. I want to see it. So he's uh, he sent me um, the awesome barrel one and three twists. Awesome. So he started talking about the ammo for it again. I went back did uh, did the the research on it because Q is the man. You start talking ballistics. Q is one of those hundred pound heads that everybody that everybody uh, respects, myself included. So you start looking at the at the um, the ammo. You've got your 338 Lapua, but look at how much reduced uh, case capacity I have for putting in gunpowder, All right? So uh, I don't, I've got basically half the room, less than half the room, by the way, for gunpowder that I have in my 338 Lapua, okay? So in other words, you're not gonna get it flying as fast as my 338 Lapua. So lower muzzle velocity, but, um, you might, it's still using your, that typical 338 uh, Lapua projectile, 338 Norma, it doesn't matter. 338 is 338. Uh, but your, your projectiles are designed specifically for this function, right? So faster twist to get that stability, violent expansion, greater wound cavities, but you have to use specialized projectiles for it. It's not like I can just reload this at home and use all my leftover uh you know, my burger hybrids that I'm loading my 338 Lapool with. So he sends me his, uh, his types of ammo that he has. Now he's basically running two, uh, two subsonics, one supersonic. He sent me one of each. The supersonic that he sent me, make sure I've got the right one here. All right. It's a, a 220 grain Barnes TX, uh, TSX. Again, solid projectile. These things are awesome for hogs. They're awesome at everything. It's coming out of the barrel at uh, 1,970 feet per second, very supersonic. Uh, and that's out of this 12 inch barrel, right? So um, badass, accurate, hard hitting. It does design to expand, uh, but it, it, again, this is a supersonic round. You're gonna be knocking the snot out of whatever you hit with this thing. 210 grains, guys. Yeah, understand, uh, we're looking at 175, 168 for those, for those, um, uh, you know, your 308 rounds that most people are running through their guns, right? So um, awesome, very, very awesome, right? My favorite though, my favorite without a doubt, Subsonic. I'm not gonna grab it till after the commercial. I'll see you guys back in a minute. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, you guys are back. Uh, I'm ready to talk subsonic, how about you guys? Got to do the Steve Holland, the golden rays of sunshine coming down on it. Subsonic 8.6 blackout. This thing is a 285 grain, solid copper fr uh, fragmenting projectile it is designed it's already got the cuts down the side I, i'll let you guys I'll, I'll, we'll plug in some close-ups of this stuff this puppy's sexy it is designed to hit and open up with four basically you know like a broadhead an expanding broadhead four 40 grain pre, uh, pedals that open up and then snap off so you've got five separate wound trails through the body and it leaves the 125 grain base. Uh, now this was designed specifically for a government customer. 
specifically for that terminal performance. Sub MOA out to 200 meters. Subsonic out to 200 meters. That's incredible, guys. You understand that's incredible. Now, um, okay, we're all uh, gel blocks. We're gonna shoot the gel blocks. We are. I know you guys want to do it. We're gonna shoot the gel blocks. We are. We're gonna. Um, let's talk about the gun first. All right now, they make gas guns. Um, they do. They, they. You can get a gas gun with an eight-inch barrel, twelve-inch barrel, sixteen-inch barrels. They make bolt guns in twelve-inch and sixteen-inch barrels. This one right here is the Gorilla Firearms. Um, bolt action, right? It, the Gorilla Firearms custom chassis on it, sexy it is. All right, now the action uh, on the gun is manufactured by Def, uh, Defiance. Uh, this particular one, we went with the 16 inch barrel with a one in three twist. It has got the Timmy Elite trigger in it. Oh, <laughs> that trigger is so sweet, guys. I mean, it, don't even finish the thought that you want it to go off because the period at the end sets the gun off. It's crazy. It's crazy. That's a light trigger right there. It's got an MFT stock on it. It's a pretty gun. Guys, look how little this thing is. It's walking around hog hunting. I've been walking around hog hunting with my big, uh, my big heavy 300 blackout. 300 blackout. You know, it's all set up. And that puppy's heavy. I put the can on this thing. This is what I'm hitting with with hogs now, mom. This puppy right here is going in the gun safe and we're not gonna be using it anymore. All right, um, so anyways, it's awesome. It's awesome stuff. Okay, it's pretty. It's that time. Put your money where your mouth is. All right, it's supposed to be accurate. Let's go test it out. So, all right, so we got our two shot groups. We've got supersonic up top, subsonic down bottom. Full disclosure, I suck. I pulled the very first bullet. That one went high. Uh, actually, it was the second bullet. Um, I, guys, I can't get my thumb through that hole. I can get my pinky through it. I want you to remember how big a 338 projectile is. Um, okay, this puppy's accurate. It's accurate. That's the supersonic. I expect a supersonic with a scope on it to be accurate. It better be accurate, right? Free floating barrel better be accurate. Okay, it's accurate. It's accurate. Subsonic though, you can't do that with subsonic because it's subsonic. It's just not stable. Your projectiles get unstable. Um, I pulled this one off to the side. If you take that one out, guys, that's four rounds right there. That is four rounds. No, don't count my fifth one. It was actually the third, right? That's four rounds. That's, as, that's almost as tight as the supersonic rounds. Now that was with that, uh, that uh, expanding, it's got the four pedals, 440 grain pedals that break off. Remember that round was built specifically for terminal performance but it still had the requirement from the government uh, customer 
to be sub MOA within 200 meters. We're only at 100 meters, no big deal. But this thing is still plenty, plenty accurate. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. One in three twists makes it accurate. Okay. Let's go do what it was actually designed for. It's a success story so far. Let's go do Ballistic Gel by uh, Clear Ballistics. All right, hey guys, that is the 8.6 blackout, all right? Big brother to the 300 blackout. I want to thank uh, Gorilla Ammo for uh, giving me opportunity to uh, call bullshit. And here's me eating crow, the supersonic ammo, insanely accurate, right? It's basically a 338 uh, Lapua a projectile in a 6.5 Creedmoor casing. And then the one that I really loved was the uh, subsonic uh, ammo that's already pre-cut to have those four pedals break off of it. See the supersonic in the bottom block, the uh, subsonic in the top block. Again, and I also want to thank Clear Ballistics for providing these blocks for us. They're the same blocks. The bottom one is just a new block. And then the cool part about Clear Ballistics is I can remelt them, put them back in a mold. It's just after you've shot it a couple times, it gets slightly deeper, but they are the exact same consistency. They run great. So if you're looking for a new hog slayer or you're a special mission unit looking for some special purpose uh, projectiles, 8.6 blackout by Gorilla Ammo. Uh, you guys know the deal. Leave your comments below. Y'all take care and shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.